Hey guys, this is uh, John Lasko. We got uh, a box here. I started opening it up before I hit the button here, but uh, this is a box of geckos. I should have six of them in here, I believe, uh, from Oregon Gecko uh, from Eric. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get these guys out here, make sure they're all okay. So hopefully you guys can see the whole package. It's kind of a big box here. But, uh, we'll get going. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> this guy looks to be turned himself inside out here. We got, uh, this is uh, AHB, uh, this is number four. Uh, this is a breeder female. Oh, she is mad, you see that? Open her mouth wide open at me. She is not happy. So, uh, <laughs> but um, I wish I could show you uh, what she looks like. Well, maybe we can here. She is not a happy camper. She'd be a lot happier once she can get out. There we go. Hi, little girl. Come here. Yeah. Looks like she's kind of going through shed here a little bit. Yep. But, uh, get you out of your paper here. But that, uh, this is, uh, one of the females that we got in the breeding group, uh, from Eric. So, we'll get him pass her over to my wife here and then uh, we'll get going on the next one get these all in their containers so that one should be HB1 so we'll go ahead and uh, keep going here here we got the next one here out of the breeding group uh, this is another uh, actually I forgot to say it it's a Afghan Halloween bold stripe uh, these are uh, crossed Afghan Halloween Bold Stripe to Afghan Halloween Bold Stripe. This is one of uh, Eric's projects that's been taking about six years. He's told me uh, to produce these the way they, the way he wanted. But uh, as you can tell, she is just beautiful. High contrast, uh, just crazy head pattern. Really beautiful pattern on top there. So, but that is her, and this one is. Uh, Number two, I believe. So, let's see here. Two, one, three. Yeah, so this is uh, just another beautiful gecko. So, and she looks to be in very good health here. So, very, very beautiful there. So, we'll get her put back here and then we'll move on to the next one. the next one here this one's number two actually whoa look how bold she is looks to be in uh, very good health here this is 2a oh this is the crazy girl this is uh, a younger one of the breeding group um, I couldn't help uh, but get her uh, actually, this is an, or the, another breeding female, I'm sorry, uh, but just awesome color here, and she is in very good health, but really bold, uh, very wild it looks like, so that is her, we're going to get her put away here, and we'll move on to the next one here, so next we got... This is the Afghan bull. Okay, this is a little crazy girl that I thought the last one was. Um, she has got a really wicked pattern on her head. Um, it's really what I liked. And this is my first pick overall. So, as you can tell, that head pattern is just crazy. So, she's definitely going to be a very nice addition to our program. Uh, she is just gorgeous. Looks to be in really good health. See if I can get her out of the box without freaking out here. Come on, there we go. And that is her. Very healthy. Uh, this one was just hatched this year, I believe. Uh, I think it was uh, May 22nd. 
So, but she is just beautiful. And uh, I'm pretty sure the last one was her mom, and or or it might have been the first one. One of the two, we have the mom that produces these guys. So, just awesome. So we're gonna get her put away here. We'll go to the next one. All right, we're we'll going to the next one here, guys. Try to keep this video as short as possible here. So far, so good here. And this guy's just kind of chilling out on his backside here. Uh, this is the Afghan Halloween Bold. Uh, this is the male uh, that I had uh, wanted. So, and this guy actually has like a really cool G and a D on his uh, forehead. And you'll see that as soon as uh, I get him out of the box here. At least he's not kind of hissing at me here. Just chilling, <laughs> as you can see that. Uh, I'll get him going around here, but there he is. Absolutely gorgeous. See that G and the D on the head? Just awesome. So, but he looks to be in good health too. Um, he's got some lavender coming in on his sides here. Really, really nice. Oh, but there we go. So, but otherwise, he's in really good health. Hopefully, he doesn't fly away here. But, uh, and that's him. So, another beautiful, beautiful gecko. So, you can see that head pattern there. We'll get him put away here. And then move on to last but not least. This is coming Yep, male. GB, it says GB in the cage. Yeah. Alright, now we'll go to the last one. And this is an Afghan Tremper Emerine Het Eclipse. Uh, this was the one that uh, Eric was going to surprise me with, and uh, he definitely did so. Uh, the color on this guy is extreme. I mean, it's just awesome. Uh, <laughs> one heck of a combo here. Uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gecko here. Um, see ya. Sorry, I can't get the frame right there. But you can see he's got a lot of orange coming in. Uh, just he's gonna turn out to be a very 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 awesome gecko here so definitely a good cross this is another one of Eric's uh, really awesome crosses that he does uh, and this guy's gonna be <laughs> really cool to say the least but that's him and he's all right get the light out of his eyes so but that's that and thank you guys so much for watching uh, stay tuned we might have more arrival sometime all right take care guys